Hey everybody, Unqualified Gamer here, and welcome to another episode of 90 Shorts. Uh, today we're going to be talking about something that's been um, recently on my mind, and yes, I am part of this problem, um, is the work, basically it's the service industry. You know, um, that's been a pretty hot topic lately. Uh, mm, it's been a pretty hot topic lately. Um, within, you know, the realms of, you know, our conversations. Um, but this has always been a thing where I've noticed a lot of people online that very contradicting about the ethical treatment of our service industry workers, such as people who work in grocery stores, fast food workers, um, you know, like you know, readers, water rice, you know, those, those type of jobs, jobs, jobs where, where most people will sit there and they'll say, well, you know, those are, those are jobs for high schoolers, you know? And I know in a lot of people's hearts, uh, we do care for others. We do care for the well treatment of other, uh, employees, especially when it comes down to them getting paid and what they're, and what they're doing. Now, if you haven't been living under a rock, um, there has been a sort of a great purge of people who are, uh, taking up their own time. They're basically, you know, taking back their time. They say, you know what? I'm tired of busting my behind for a dead end job that don't care about me and doesn't give me anything other than misery and woe just for a measly sense, not even to help me pay for my rent. So, you know, people who, who work two jobs can't even pay for their rent you know, let alone just having one job pay for your rent, you know, but here's the thing that I've noticed though. And just recently, uh, I just came back from Wingstop today and it is Friday. Um, the, well, I'm doing this recording Friday. This video can be released. You know, of course, you know, when y'all, y'all see it though, but, uh, I went to Wingstop and there's three employed employees there. Uh, there's, you know, there's just three employees. Um, there's a bunch of people, just waiting for their food. And these three employees are like busting their behinds, you know, and I can see the irritation in some people. Some people are like, I've been waiting for 40 minutes. I've been waiting for 20 minutes. I've been waiting this long, that long X, Y, and Z, X, Y, and Z. I mean, I, I went on and did the smart thing and just ordered online and then just, you know, say, Hey, it'll be ready in 16 to 20 minutes. I'll just give them a buffer of, of a half hour and then ride up there. And then my food is right there and ready. You know, I'm not going to, no rushing and anything like that. When they get to me, they'll get to me. I'm a very patient person, a very patient person. Patience goes a long way. And that's one thing in this society, which is another video where I have to talk about that we are losing is our patience. But, uh, what I'm getting at with this is that we have to be patient with these workers, the people who are working at these jobs, like, they're doing their best. It's, you know, they, they're shorthanded and it's, and it's shorthanded on the basis of not people being lazy, but it's shorthanded on the basis of these corporations not are not paying their employees. There's no worth in working for these companies. Now, here's the thing that gets me and this. This is where I come in as me being part of the problem. Like I said, I just came from Wingstop and I went on, I bought some Wingstop knowing the conditions of like the work, the work conditions, I still patronize these places. I still go to target. I still go to Walmart. I still go to, to, to Wendy's and McDonald's and Burger King and, you know, all types of jobs that are quote unquote low end to certain people, but I'm going to call them service industry jobs that, direct their attention to, you know, basically, you know, for sales, like wow, wow, and all that kind of stuff like that. So I am part of that problem because I still give corporation money for convenience products, but I recognize it. And when I recognize it, I don't get mad. If my order is wrong, if even if the employees has a little bit of an attitude and yes, you can sit there and say, well, geez, you don't have to work here. And you're right. You don't have to work here. But what happens if there's a unanimous strike, then y'all going to be bitching about, oh, uh, how come, how come this place is closed? It's supposed to be open. Oh, uh, that's because nobody showed up for work because they're tired of the bull crap. And then 
people got the nerve to complain about that. Where they literally took your advice saying you don't have to work here. And see, this, this is where I come in because it's like, you know, I recognize these type of issues. That's why I have a lot of patience for it. Even if my order is wrong and even if the person is having a bad day and they're taking it out on me, listen, I'm only there for a few minutes. And, you know, I'm not, like I said, it's not like I'm going to be pushed over. I'm not going to be talked any type of way. But if I notice that the person has sort of a chip on their shoulder and you look back there and you, it's like only that person and another person, or there's only two people back there, whatever like that. Listen, I am not going to make their life a lot harder. I, like I said, I understand it's Friday night. You're hangry. Yes. I said it. You're hangry. You had a long day as your office job or whatever you work at. Right. And you're like, man, I just want to take my Friday night, chill out and go ahead and drink a beer or whatever like that. And I want to eat my wings or eat my McDonald's, or whatever I bought. That's what I want to do. And I want to end in a more efficient time. But see, the thing about it is the main catalyst of this is not the employees, but it is the corporation. It is the companies that are running these places that are not paying their employees. And that's what gets me. And then when you have customers who can't see past their own emotions and their own impatientness, they are part of the problem. And it just stacks on top of that. If somebody was to come to your job and talk to you because you're not moving fast enough, you're going to catch an attitude too, especially when you have amounts of people. And like I said, have some patience, people. That's all I'm saying. Have some patience. I understand you're hungry. And you know what? If it's, if it's that much of a burden for you, then just cancel your order. Go to the store and make your own food. It also goes into the same thing with Uber drivers, Lyft drivers, you know, the DoorDash drivers. You know, like, you know, we, like I say, we, we know the ground root of the problem. Again, it's the corporations. That's the ground root of that problem. So why are you not actually tipping your, your delivery drivers. You're complaining that, oh, I can't, why is it I'm paying $10 extra to what the actual cost is? Cause that's the delivery fee, but the delivery fee is not part of, they, they don't get that. They, the drivers don't get that money that goes right to the company. That's the middleman. You paying the extra money for the convenience of not leaving your home. So the least you can do is tip. And you want to know why your, your food is coming in so late is because you don't tip. And I see, like I said, you see the TikToks, you see the Twitter feeds, you got people explaining the, the methods and yet people are still doing the same thing. If you want change, you're going to have to make sacrifices. And I'm on this boat, even though, yes, I admit I have a hundred percent part of the problem because I still patronize these things. However, I have the patience to allow the worker to do what they do. And even, and even if they're either late or whatever, I still respect them as the worker. And I will say, Hey, listen, I don't mean to be a pain in the behind or anything, but Hey, could you, you know, my, you know, you got my order mixed up and I understand y'all busy and everything, you know, and more likely when, when, when you're, when you're, when you talk like that, when you talk to them, like they're human and you understand what they're going through, guarantee your experience is going to be a hell of a lot better. But if you give them attitude, even if you're in the right, if you give them attitude, they're going to get that attitude right back. And sometimes it's going to get a lot worse. That's why you see in these videos of these, of, of these workers, um, basically attacking the, the customer because the customer, we don't respect the workers, even though you'll see it all online. We don't entirely expect the customer. Now, like I said, I am all for like if, if these service workers was to unanimously just walk out and just say, no, we're not doing this anymore. Yes. That will affect me. It will affect me in a more negative manner because I won't be able to get what I want in a more, you know, just, just out of laziness, me being lazy, even though I'll pay extra, I'll, but I will accept it. 
and I will do, and I will take that sacrifice if it means for them to get better pay, to give them a more reasonable pay, to get people a reason. See, when you have these jobs like these, and the company doesn't pay you, or the franchise don't pay you, or don't pay their employees, you're gonna get the bottom of the barrel. And that's what we deserve. Especially when you're not paying your employees and as the customer, as the consumer, we're not respecting the employees either, even though yes, we're paying for this product, but where's that money going? You follow the money. Whenever, when, whenever something like this happens, whenever, whenever some type of financial wrongdoings or something that people are complaining about, follow the money and you'll find where the problem lies. If we was paying, if, if our, if our orders was directly paying the employees and they, and just, just say the company gets, the company gets 10%. But the employees get 90%. I guarantee you, you'll have the best experience. It's a reason why. And it's a reason why Chick-fil-A, <laughs> it's the reason why Chick-fil-A employees, they seem very nice and gentle and patient. It's because they're getting paid a fair wage. You tell me a Chick-fil-A employee that's, that's, that's not treating you right. I guarantee they're not getting paid right. Listen, I, I worked, I worked in retail before and I know how, I know how it is not, not to feel like you're nothing or feel like you're subhuman, especially to the consumer that comes in thinking that, well, I'm, I'm paying you and you know, you're working this dead end job anyway. So you're nothing. I know how that feels. Like I said, I have all the patience in the world for service people. And I thank y'all. I think from the bottom of my heart, I think the people who work at McDonald's Burger King, Wendy's, Wingstop, you know, any type of service in Walmart, you know, Target. I, I, I appreciate y'all, the employees. I appreciate the employees that's at the cash registers that changing out the, 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 the clothes, restocking stuff, taking the orders, taking our money at the registers. I appreciate y'all work. So I'm just saying that's, that's, that's all I got to say about the topic, man. Look guys, the, the more of the story, the more of this whole topic here, be kind to one another, try to have more empathy in one another. Trust me, it'll go a long way. And trust me, it will release a lot of y'all pent up stress, you know, be patient, work on that. You know, it's nothing, like I said, it's something you just got to work on on a daily basis. Be patient. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Whether you agree with me or not, let me know in the comment section below. And uh, I really do appreciate y'all um, listening. If you you know if you made it this far, I really do appreciate it. Um, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next video. Until then, this is Unqualified Gamer signing out. Peace.